This is what they call reasonable preparatory levels that uh, people who are strategic uh, go through. You can see I've stockpiled a lot of maize bran uh, at a time when the price is at their lowest. You know, this is uh, getting back to school period. So there's uh, maize harvesting and then people are making a lot of maize flour for the schools. Uh, to stock feed for, um, food for the school children. So there is uh, maize, uh, maize bran is a byproduct of uh, posho, you know, kaunga. So uh, the prices drop, and that is where reasonable people do this. I've been stockpiling. I bought now there are 460 bags here. Uh, you know, that is uh, several tons, I mean, t tens of tons, and I also bought another uh, 459 bags that I put into the napier grass there where we when we are making the napier silage we mix it with the maize brand and that is minimum organization ability you know you must strateg be strategic plan you can see this structure the way how it is aerated you know this maize brand can stay here forever as long as we get the fork and then, you know, keep on to turning it so that there is enough air saturation around it, you can keep it. And then your cows can be, you know, now this business of, uh, you know, there's drought, there is drought, the price of maize bran has gone up. Then people start suffering like as if there was no periods of plenty is totally what I don't agree with. We grow our own fodder. Uh, especially the napia pok chong grass and also even the maize. Now we've been harvesting the napia and some bit of maize. You can see we've uh, right now started harvesting, you know, and uh, making the silage. This is a bunker. Uh, there is that bank there, number one. Then this is a huge one, uh, a second bunker. There is a third one there, a third bunker. We dig down deep into the ground and then start piling up our silage from down there. And then uh, later on, we keep on to pushing it up while the tractor is compressing it. So there is a, a third bunker there. The guys are clearing. We are still finishing up with that silage there. When we are done with that one, we are going to make a fourth bunker. And then I think we'd have reached uh, over 600 tons of uh, silage in stock, which we normally serve especially in the evening because this silage is not for day-to-day, -day. I mean, it's for day-to-day -day eating, but in the evening. Because uh, in the morning and then mid-lunch, we mostly serve them on top fresh. You are going to see there where they are making. I've just kept those machines silent for making the, the fresh silage. So uh, it has to do with the preparation now. It's what I'm always talking about. Why would a tropical country like this one with such very wonderful weather, you know, do suffer that our animals, uh, you know, <laughs> are drought stricken, you know? If in other regions it can happen, then those regions that have the good weather, please maximally utilize the, the resources so that we can also help other colleagues who are into other areas by producing the fodder heavily here and then possibly selling it to other areas.